Hey everybody, Derek here, and in this video we're going to be going over how to connect to remote computers with the No Machine app. So No Machine is actually one of my favorite remote desktop applications just because it's so easy and they support Linux. So to start off, go to nomachine.com, click on the download button, and it's very important that you install this on both computers. So in this demonstration, I'm going to be showing you how to connect over the internet or a local LAN, it doesn't really matter to one computer from one computer to the other so i've got no machine installed on my vm and i'm going to install it on my desktop here so to install it you would just pick your version so if you don't know how this works and how to install just check my article in the description because i go over it in that but uh, basically just find the deb for ubuntu rpm for fedora and this one for everything else you click the download button it's going to download and uh, we can go ahead and let it go and let it download once we click the download button uh, we can choose it to open I'm gonna save it and then I'm going to CD into the downloads folder and uh, we'll see when it's done here okay so the file is done so now we can then open it and uh, I'm gonna open it up with QAPT but I was going to show you here as well. You can do sudo dpkg-i and then no machine and you can install it that way if you're on Ubuntu. I would, I usually do it this way and I could just click the install package button, enter my password and uh, it will set it up and it's going to install and start up all the services that it needs. And uh, once this is done, almost done we can go and open up no machine start it up and so now we can connect to our no machine computer so the first time you try and connect it's going to say the authenticity of the host because it's trying to connect over ssh it's going to ask you to accept the fingerprint and all of that you need to click yes you then need to use the username that is set up on the remote computer so in my case it's going to be test test I set this VM up specifically for this and we can click save password, click OK, and it's going to connect and we should be able to access. And we've got a remote computer here. So I am now remotely connected to this virtual machine. And if you look over here, it's doing the same thing. But uh, that's how no machine works. It works very well in a pinch. I think it's better than TeamViewer. It's got a lot more options. You can do a lot more stuff and uh, it's very useful and we'll definitely be digging more into No Machine as we go on the website. But so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a quick little demonstration on how to set up No Machine on Linux and how to connect to remote computers. I'll see you guys in the next video.